Unveiling the Mysteries of Polar Bear in English. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into the chilly and intriguing world of a phrase you might have heard quite often, polar bear. We're not talking about the animal today, but rather the deeper meanings behind this term when used in the English language. Let's explore how this term can be used in different contexts and how you can apply it to enhance your English vocabulary. When we talk about a polar bear, literally, we're referring to the large, white bear found in the Arctic. They are known for their thick fur and swimming skills. This term is simple and refers to the actual animal. Moving beyond the literal sense, polar bear can be symbolic. It might represent something that is out of place or adapted to very specific conditions. If someone feels like a polar bear in the desert, they feel very much out of their element. Interestingly, polar bear can also be a part of various idioms or expressions. For example, if someone has a polar bear's chance in a competition, it implies they have little to no chance of winning. Much like a polar bear would have little chance of surviving in a tropical forest. In literature, a polar bear can be used metaphorically to depict loneliness, as polar bears are often seen alone, or to represent a character that is resilient and strong. In popular culture, polar bear might be used to describe someone with very pale skin or very light blonde hair. It's a playful descriptor that isn't meant to be taken seriously. So, there you have it. Polar bear can mean more than just the majestic creature of the Arctic. Whether used literally, symbolically, in expressions, metaphorically in literature, or casually in popular culture, it adds richness to the English language. I hope you found this exploration into the phrase as fascinating as a polar bear in a snowstorm. Keep practicing, and you'll be using English phrases with the confidence of a polar bear sliding on ice. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.